Bristol Myers, makers of Ipana toothpaste for the smile of beauty, and Minute Rub, the modern chest rub, bring you the Alan Young Show. Well, it's Friday night, and once again we take it to the little white cottage in Van Nuys, California, where we find the star of our show, that young man who is young today and young forever, Alan Young. Well, Alan has company at his house, and very attractive company, too. Now, well, Dolores, here we are. Yes, honey, here we are. Yeah. Come on, want to play some gin rummy? <laughs> Alan, I'd like to play a different kind of game. Parcheesi? <laughs> Bridge? Fantan? No, Alan, I was thinking of something else. A game that makes your head spin. A game that makes your blood pound. That takes all the breath out of you. Basketball? <laughs> oh, Alan, here we are, just the two of us alone. Why don't you put your lips close to my ear? Okay, I, I will, Dolores. I've, I've got my lips close to your ear. And now... Whisper those three little words every woman loves to hear. Does, does everything. <laughs> oh, Alan. Oh, gee, Dolores, that, that kind of talk always embarrasses me. Why don't we do something else? Why, why don't we look through my family album here? Must we? Well, Dolores, I got some swell pictures in this album. Look at this one. I was only three months old. Look at me lying on that fuzzy bearskin rug. Uh-huh. What a big smile on your face. Mm-hmm. Did they have much trouble getting you to smile like that? No. Fuzzy bearskin rug. <laughs> and look uh, look at this picture of me on a pony. Can't we forget about your album, Alan? What a wonderful pony you was. The smartest pony in the whole world. Used to count to three with his hoof. Used to beg for sugar. Alan, here am I sitting next to you. Doesn't that mean anything? Don't you want to take me in your arms and hug me close to you? And kiss me and kiss me and kiss me? Used to swat flies with his tail, too. <laughs> Look, look at this picture, Dolores. Take him when I was just... I'm interested in what you are today. Oh. (laughs) You were a cute youngster, but look at you now. You're a gorgeous hunk of man. Oh, I am so. (laughs) Alan, Uh, can I have a picture of you to put on my dresser? Well, Dolores, I'd like to give you one, but I don't have any pictures of me taken lately, you know. I can take one, though, if you'd really like. Oh, thanks, honey. Well, I've got to run along now. Please, don't forget about the picture. I won't, Dolores. Goodbye. (laughs) See, she wants a picture of me, huh? I wonder where the camera is. Maybe it's in Jonathan's room. I'll ask him. He's most likely rehearsing. I'll just go in. Hello, Jonathan. Stone walls do not a prison make, nor iron bars a cage. (laughs) I must have freedom in me, love. Do you know who said that, me lad? Lippy de Rocher? <laughs> no, Milan. No, no. Well, Jonathan, I hate to interrupt your rehearsal, but I'm looking for my camera. Your camera? Well, I know precisely where it is, Milan. I used it just the other day. Oh, good. As Jonathan Mildew decided to send in a snapshot to the movie studios. So I took a picture of my classic profile. Profile, yeah. The curve of my chin, the majestic sweep of my forehead, the delicate lips, the sensitive lines about my prominent cheekbones. Did you get any answer, Jonathan? They told me that Roy Rogers was perfectly satisfied with Trigger. <laughs> How could they say that about the great Jonathan Mildew? Must have been some mistake. Mistake! <laughs> and I, the possessor of the most glorious profile ever bestowed upon mortal man. Take me eyelashes, for instance. Just gaze upon these eyelashes. Have you ever seen anything longer, blacker, or curlier? (laughs) Not since last week when I burnt the spaghetti. No. (laughs) It's better that way. Mm. You see, Jonathan... (laughs) You see, Dolores, darling, wants a picture of me. That's why I need the camera. Well, here it is, my lad, right here in my dresser. Swell. I'll run down to the camera shop in the corner and buy some film. My lad, don't you want Jonathan Mildew to take your picture for you? Well, thanks a lot, Jonathan. Meet me at the corner of Moore Park and Laurel in 15 minutes. Hmm. Well, here it is, the 
Van Nuys camera shop. Ah. Uh, pardon me, miss. I'd like to buy some film. Well, you came to the right place, handsome. <laughs> After all, this is the camera shop. Yes, it is. Have you anything that's got plenty of exposure? Yeah. Maybe you'd like me to wear a bare midriff. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't make myself clear. I just want to get some film for my camera. <laughs> well, <gasps> let's go into the dark room. <laughs> dark room? I haven't even taken the picture yet. Why should we go in the dark room? Nobody wants to go into the dark room with me. Now, look, miss. Who can I get to go into the dark room with me? Try the old lamplighter. I don't know. <laughs> I just want the film so I can take a snapshot of myself. Why don't any fellas ever take a picture of me? Yeah. Nobody ever wants me on a snapshot. Yeah, well... Why don't I ever get on a snapshot? Maybe your snap is all shot. <laughs> Can I please have the film for my camera? Okay. Handsome. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, I've got the film. I wonder if Jonathan's waiting on the corner. Oh. Greetings, my lad. <laughs> there you are, Jonathan. Hope you didn't mind waiting. It's kind of windy today. Oh, yes, my lad. There's quite a breeze of blowing. But what good is a windy day in California? All the girls are wearing slacks. <laughs> Me roving eye did better in Chicago. Forget about Chicago, Jonathan. We got some pictures to take here. Okay, Milan. I'll take your picture in front of this department store. There's a nice display in the window. Don't be silly, Jonathan. Look at that sign that would come out over my head. Hmm? You too can own a copper pot. <laughs> Well, where would you suggest? I got it. A picture of me in front of the Van Nuys National Bank. Make me look important. Well, Milad, just step in front of the bank and I shall click the shutter. All right, back here. Huh? Mm. I better move a bit closer, Milan. Can't find your image in the lens. You're still too far away, my boy. Just a little closer now. Milad, what a picture! I've captured Mount Whitney in the distance. <laughs> Mount Whitney, I can see the tremendous peak, the majestic slope. You've got the camera pressed against my nose. <laughs> it's a bit too close, eh? <laughs> well, I'll move back a bit like this, and I shall snap your portrait. There, a likeness of which you may be proud. See a picture of me in front of the bank. Dolores will be really impressed. Uh, let me have the camera a minute, Jonathan. I'd like to take an action shot. See how good this film is, you know? Well, here come three men out of the bank now, Milan. They're walking pretty fast. See if you can snap them. Oh, that's a cinch. Gee, they seem to be in a hurry. Watch me click the shutter. There. <laughs> Milan, it's a hold-up. A bank robbery. Bank robbery? Yes, those three men running out were the crooks, Milad. You've got a picture of the bank robbers. A picture of the crooks? I got a picture of the crooks. Me lad, me lad, the Van Nuys Gazette would give anything to print this picture in that paper. You'll be famous, me lad, famous. Wait till Dolores sees this. Jonathan, I'm going way over to the Van Nuys Gazette. Hey, fellas, what's all the excitement? Mr. Wallington. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wallington? This brave lad has taken a picture of the thieves who dared to rob the bank. Oh, it was nothing. Nothing! Me lad, you're intelligent, you're quick thinking, your bravery saved the day. Please, Jonathan, it was nothing. Such courage, such cleverness, <laughs> such a drug. Oh, Jonathan, heavens. Jonathan, you're embarrassing him. You keep out of this, Jimmy. <laughs> Alan, did you really take a picture of the fellow who robbed this bank? Yeah, no, i got to get it right over to the Van Nuys Gazette. Gee, did I scare you, Alan? Mr. Wallington, he came smiling through. <laughs> smiling? I should have thought of that. Anybody with a bright, sparkling smile like Alan's would be proud to smile. Well, of course, I... You I, use Ipana. You took the words right out of my mouth. Well, of course it's Ipana. For anyone who uses Ipana can be proud of the things Ipana can do for the brightness of his teeth or the sparkle of his smile. Really, friends, if you haven't tried Ipana, do it now and see how Ipana can help your teeth and your smile to a brightness and loveliness you never thought possible. See just what it is that makes Ipana so popular with dentists everywhere. Dentists prefer Ipana toothpaste two to one over any other dentifrice for their own personal use, according to a recent national survey. You see, Ipana is especially designed not only to clean your teeth, but with gentle massage to aid in the health of your gums. And firm, healthy gums are so important to sounder, brighter teeth. To that more sparkling smile, your dentist will no doubt tell you that too. So ask your dentist. 
for that same national survey showed that seven out of ten dentists recommend gum massage. So take the tip. Try Ipana and massage for your smile of beauty. Van Nuys Gazette is really a busy place. Better take this picture to the editor-in-chief. Now, there's his office. B.B. Busby. Come in. Come in. Come in! Uh, pardon me, Mr. Busby. Speak up, man. I haven't got all day. I'm a busy man, you know. Always on the go. Always on the go. Can't depend on anybody. Got to do everything myself. Busy Busby, they call me if I'm not down to the courthouse covering the latest jury trial. I'm over the stadium covering the latest sport event. Well, what do you want? <laughs> Well, Mr. Busby, I got here as soon as I could. Just a minute, just a minute. Got to use the phone. Uh Hello, copy desk. You've got to shorten those personal ads. Got to shorten them. You can't waste all that space. Look at this ad. I am a widow with triplets. I'm willing to sacrifice anything for them. I would even marry a man who has quadruplets and raise my triplets and his his quadruplets. Thirty-two words for a story like that. Shorten it, man. Shorten it. I'll show you how. Widow with three children would like to meet man with four children. Object seven up. Mr. Busby, I hate to bother you, but it's so... Perfectly all right. Where's your quadruplets? No, I I don't have any quadruplets. Oh, oh, yes, yes. You're the woman with the triplets. I haven't got quadruplets. I haven't got triplets. All I got is a little story. What hospital did you have it in? Hospital? This happened in front of a bank. Oh, in front of a bank. What a scoop. I can see the headlines now. Baby born in front of bank. Seven pound deposit gathers wide interest. Please. Listen to me already. There was a bank robbery, and I... I took a picture of the three crooks. Just, just a minute. Got to make a call. Uh. Hello. Hello. I don't like the way you're doing your job, see? Most inefficient man in the place. Absolutely incompetent. You're fired. You're fired! Oh, oh. Well, in that case, you can keep your job. Forget what I said. What made you change your mind? I had myself on the other phone. <laughs> Look, I took a picture of three crooks robbing a bank, and I thought... You... Just a minute there. How'd I get myself up on the other phone? Probably had the wrong number. The wrong number. <laughs> Look, Mr. Busby, I'm Alan Young. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Fellow who was born in front of the bank, yeah. yeah. I wasn't born in front of the bank. I took a picture in front of the bank. It was a lucky thing I snapped the camera. I guess it's just a matter of habit. Habit? Oh, oh habit, yeah. My, my favorite comedians. Habit and Costello. Habit <laughs> Right in my picture, I have a pocket of three crooked quadruplets robbing a triplet. <laughs> Here's a negative of that picture I took. Oh, 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 yes, picture of the cook's picture of the cook's. I'll have it developed at once. I'll be right in the next edition. That's swell. Next edition? He's so busy, he doesn't know what he's doing. Little Dolores sees my picture in the afternoon papers. I'll go over to her house right now and tell her what's happened. Hello, Dolores. Well, Alan, come on in. Oh. Dolores, I have some wonderful news to tell you. What is it, Alan? Well, I just took a picture of three crooks robbing a bank, and in a few hours, I'll be the most famous man in town. Oh, that's wonderful. And I owe it all to you, Dolores. Oh. You wanted my picture, and that's what started the whole thing. Well, Alan, there's been a woman behind every great man in history. Mm. Who was it that helped Napoleon to conquer the world? Mm. Josephine. Who was it that helped Mark Antony to rule an empire? Cleopatra. She, that's right. And who was it that helped Nero fiddle while Rome burned? Evelyn and her magic violin. <laughs> Lord, when they track down the criminals as a result of the picture I took, they'll give me a reward as a result of the picture I took. <laughs> this camera I'm holding is the one that snapped the picture. Honey, I'd like to give you a reward, too. You would? Yes. I'm going to give you a great big hug. Now, Dolores, please. Never mind your camera. No, no, Dolores, please. You're steaming up my lens. (laughs) Well, I'm going up to get dressed so we can celebrate tonight. Okay, I'll wait here. There's that filthy rich up there. Probably came over to brag about something. Oh, Alan, I'm here, I'm here. You've heard of the gal in Calico. Well, I'm a great big lad in plod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I suppose you dropped around to take Dolores out? Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I came by to take her to Santa Anuta. Sa- <laughs> Santa Anuta? Well, I hope you have some hot tubes. <laughs> I uh, suppose you have a horse entered Santa Anita? Oh, yes, yes, Alan. I've got a wonderful horse entered. He's a thorough cake. 
Thorough cake? <laughs> you mean you have a thoroughbred? Not with our kind of dough. <laughs> You and your money. Well, it's too bad you feel that way, Alan. I was just going to give you a tip on one of my horses. Oh, what's the name of your horse, Hubert? Lady Godiva. Is it a sure winner? Well, Alan, even if Lady Godiva doesn't win her place, she's bound to show. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a witty one, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. I did her. <laughs> you, you, you can lord it over me now, but by tomorrow I'll be as famous as you are. What is this? I mean, I can't believe my ears. You can't believe your ears? No, they're so pretty they don't look real. <laughs> well, you, you wait till you hear what happened, Hubert. This morning I went out to have a snapshot of myself taken. Oh, how dreadfully common. <laughs> we up dogs never have snapshots taken. Just last week I had my portrait done in oil by Rembrandt. Rembrandt? Hubert, Rembrandt's been dead for 500 years. How could you possibly have him paint your picture? I promised him a new Cadillac. <laughs> That'll do it. You better forget those fantastic stories. Because I'm going to be the new hero of Van Nuys. You, Alan? I don't believe it. Well, I took a picture of the bank holdup this afternoon. My evidence is going to convict the three crooks. By evening, I'll be the talk of the town. Oh, Mother, get out the garbage can. I'm down in the dumps tonight. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm giving this picture to Dolores. But, Alan, you can't compare yourself to me. I'm as handsome as that movie star. Robert Driver. No, no, Hubert, you mean Robert Walker. I never go anywhere without a car. Oh, <laughs> you better go find yourself another girl. Oh, no, no. If I've lost a loss, I'm going to commit suicide. No, take it easy, Hubert. No, that's what I'm going to do, commit suicide. I'm going to hang for my mother's charm bracelet and dangle myself to death. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Showed Hubert up that time. Really, everybody sees my picture in the afternoon paper. I'll be saying... Lad, 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 I've been trying to find you. <laughs> Jonathan, what's happened? Me lad, your picture, it's in the afternoon papers. Oh, that's wonderful. Now I'm going to be famous. Famous is right. You remember that picture I took of you coming out of the bank, my boy? Sure. And then you took that picture of the three crooks? That's right. Well, you forgot to turn the film. You mean neither of the pictures came out? What's for that, my lad? They both came out together. Jonathan. Yes, my lad. Now there are four crooks. <laughs> and you... Yeah? You are holding the satchel. Oh, no. <laughs> you mean... I'm one of the bank robbers? Here's the paper. Look at the picture for yourself. Jonathan, you're wrong. I'm not holding the satchel. I'm left holding the bag. <laughs> We'll see how Alan makes out in just a minute. Right now, a question for unhappy, uncomfortable people. I mean you, suffering from the miseries of a cold. Who, me? <laughs> it's... Gesundheit. Yes, you. Why don't you get yourself some really fast relief from your cold discomforts with Minute Rub? A really modern chest rub. Did you say Minute Rub? Yes, Minute Rub. Just rub Minute Rub on your throat, chest, and back. In a minute, Minute Rub's soothing menthol vapors begin to clear up that stuffy feeling in the nose and throat. In a minute, Minute Rub starts to bring a feeling of warmth and relief to those tight, sore, aching muscles. And listen, here at last is a chest rub that's greaseless and stainless. Disappears like vanishing cream, can't stain clothes or bed linens. So get a tube of Minute Rub and get quick relief from that annoying cold misery the modern way. The greaseless, stainless, Minute Rub way. Young's picture of the bank robbers appeared in the paper all right, but Alan forgot to turn the film, and his own picture came out with the crooks. This turn of events has not only startled Alan, but 
Let's look in on the crooks and see what their reaction is. You miserable mugs. You loused things up again. Ah, uh, listen, Clyde, it wasn't my fault. Uh, it wasn't my fault. Ah, uh, shut up. Nothing goes right if Gertie the Goddard ain't around. I case the joint, figure the layout, and you guys bungle it. I'm taking out my gat. Gertie, Gertie, no, 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 Gertie, please, no! <laughs> Gee, I didn't know you were just gonna light your cigarette. <laughs> I ought to fill you guys full of lead. Look at this picture in the paper. How did this guy get into our mob? How come he's holding our satchel? Who is this guy in the picture? I was afraid to say it, Gertie, but look at them shifty eyes. Look at them cauliflower ears. Uh, look at them uh, flat nose. <laughs> it's Willie the Weasel. That's who it looks like, all right, Willie the Weasel. Well, he ain't gonna muscle in on Gertie the Garter. I sent out two of the boys to pick him up. They're driving him over here now. Where, where are we going, fellas? <laughs> Why, why doesn't anybody answer me? Where, 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 where you take me, huh? I was just crossing the street when you two guys drove up and shoved me in your car. You just can't pick up a pedestrian and shove him in your car. This is California. You gotta hit him first. <laughs> I never saw such unfriendly guys. Fellas, say something. Stop staring at me like that. Maybe you'd like to hear a joke? Heard a funny joke today. Did you hear what the baby Studebaker said to the mama Studebaker? Hey, mom, you powdered the wrong end? <laughs> hey, wait a minute, fellas. Fellas, where are you taking me? We're out in the country now. It's all deserted. Who's the guy? All right, I'm getting out. Don't push. Don't push. I'm, I'm, I'm going up the steps now, fellas. Even Richard doesn't have this much trouble. Well, you finally got here, you mugs. Okay, frisk him. Frisk me? Oh, but I haven't got any... No, 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 no! <laughs> that big one has hangnails. <laughs> hey, uh, Gertie, uh, this guy ain't, uh, Willie the Weasel. Come here, you. Yes, miss? Feel this gun in your ribs? Ooh. Willie the Weasel. Do you know what's gonna happen to you if you're not really Willie? Yeah. Pop goes my weasel. <laughs> Wait, wait a minute. Now I understand. You think that I'm... Ah, huh? Ah, there's been too much talking. Let's bump them off. Ah, shut up, you skunk. You guessed it. I'm Willie the Weasel, the roughest, toughest mug west of the east. <laughs> you see? Now look here, Willie. Ah, shut up, you tomato. I don't take no guff from no woman, see? Why, well, I bumped off so many housewives, I got dishpan guns. <laughs> Listen, Willie... I'm still leader of this mob. Not anymore, you ain't, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Willie the Weasel's moving in. See, I'm taking over, see? Nobody trying no funny stuff. I got an itching finger trinker. <laughs> itching, whatever, whatever it is, watch out when I start scratching. <laughs> relax, Willie, relax. Yeah. <coughs> Maybe we can get together. I like someone tough and strong. You do, huh? <laughs> yeah. I like to have somebody around who's stronger than me. Someone who can bend my iron will. Someone who can uh, hypnotize me. Yeah. Get in touch with me, brother influence. <laughs> Say, uh, Gordy, if this is our new leader, maybe we ought to uh, give him the uh, dope, you know. Tell him about the uh, job we're going to do tonight, you know. <laughs> Yeah, Willie, we're going to crack the safe over at the Hubert Updike Mansion. How 
would you like to handle the job? Oh, right up my uh, alley out there. Uh. <laughs> but the first, uh, you but up, Dyke, huh? Oh, oh Hubert. Well, first, let me call a friend of mine who knows the layout. <laughs> Hope Jonathan's home. Hello, Jonathan. Uh, this is your pal, Willie the Young. I mean, Willie the Weasel talking. <laughs> Yeah, I'm with the three guys whose picture I took this morning, you remember? Yeah, well, why don't you go over to the Updike house right away? We got a big job. <laughs> okay, gang, follow Willie the Weasel. You think it's going to be an easy touch? Easy? As long as I got Gertie the Garter with me, it's bound to be a snap. Come on, gang. <laughs> Okay, here we are, gang. This is the Updike Mansion. Say, this is the biggest joint I ever see. Yeah, it's a big joint, all right. Look at that sign there. Make all deliveries at north end of house. Have your Canadian passports ready. <laughs> uh, come on, Willie. Let's get in the joint already. Okay. Everybody put on black masks. All set. Now we'll climb in through this window. Yeah. Hey, huh? there's Hubert Updike. He's sitting in that chair. Okay, I'll talk to him. First, I'll adjust this black mask. There. Hey, Hubert. Heavens, it's Al Jolson. <laughs> You're wrong. It's Willie the Weasel. Listen up, Dyke. Where's the safe? I won't tell you where it is. I won't, I won't, I won't. <laughs> You're going to be difficult, huh? Let me handle him, Willie. Yeah. Katie's got her own methods. Listen, handsome, if you let me have the combination to your safe, I'll let you have a great big kiss. Well, I'm on if you take off your mask and I see what you look like. Okay, big boy, I'll take off my mask. There. Ooh, how vulgar. <laughs> Come on, sugar. There's no sense wasting the best years of our lives. The best years of our lives? That's who you remind me of. Myrna Lloyd? No, Sam Goldwyn. <laughs> okay, you asked for it, big boy. Oh, mother, I've been ventilated. <laughs> Listen up, Dyke, she missed you by a mile. I won't miss you next time. Come on, now, open up that safe. Well, don't shoot. I'll open it. Well, there's the Updike Fortune. Gee. <laughs> Gee, look what's in the safe. The whole Fortune. <laughs> Annuities, stocks, bonds, stacks of thousand dollar bills, and look, a receipt for the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Stop gabbing, Willie. Let's grab the loot and scram. Yeah. What's that? It's the cops. It's the cops. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Stand where you are, you culprits! Jonathan Mildew has brought the chief of police! <laughs> you, you got here just in time, Jonathan. Heavens, it's Alan Young! Yes, I saved your life, Hubert. He ain't Willie the Weasel after all. No, sirree. I rounded up all you crooks. I saved Hubert Updike. I'm just as good as Mr. District Attorney. That's who I am, Mr. District Attorney. What was that? Take him downtown, Haddington. <laughs> Alan Young will be back in just a moment. You know, men, it's a fact. When you look successful, it's easier to be successful. So watch your appearance, especially your hair. Rely on Vitalis in the 60-second workout, famous for these three big advantages. One, Vitalis keeps even the driest, most unruly hair under control in a natural, masculine way. Two, the Vitalis workout loosens your tight scalp, prevents dryness. Three, the Vitalis workout routes embarrassing loose dandruff. Helps retard excessive falling hair. Yes, better remember Vitalis. To look your best tomorrow, get a bottle of Vitalis tonight. And now, here's Alan. A little over time. Good night, friends. Thanks for listening. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.